Okay, okay everybody. everybody. Hey, it's Kate Richburg, and I am live. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. So I am here to uh, bring a special guest on very shortly. We are um, broadcasting on our different platform today. So that same one that we did with Emily when she was here. So let me know, you guys, if you can hear me okay. And we're going to bring on Brittany very shortly. So that's what I have to say. Alrighty. So um, let me see here. So let me... Uh, as I kind of go around. Let me know if you can hear me. I'll wait. Oh, there's a lot of echo. Okay. Well, hang on. Is that better, everybody? Tell me if the echo is better. I will wait for you to give me some feedback. Echo, echo. Yay or nay. Better? Okay. Good. Okay. Shoo. Okay. All right. Well, let me get this overlay off. We're getting, oh, a little echo still. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Echo is better. Good. Okay. Great, great, great. So bear with me here a second. And ready, everybody? Here I am. <laughs> All right. That doesn't fade. There's no uh -oh, fade. I can't hear you. There's no fade in. All right. Well, today, Brittany, you can hear me? Oh, Brittany can't hear me. Hang on. Let me try this. I can hear you now. You can hear me now? Yes. How is the echo for everybody? when I just change this over. So just let me know how that's going. Sounds Brit, great. Sounds great to me. Does it sound okay to you? Yeah, it sounds okay. How are we doing out in, in, in broadcast land? Janice, give me a thumbs up if you have an echo. It's good. Okay. Perfect. Great. Look who I have with me right now. I'm going to exit this solo layout. And there she is. Hello. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Brittany. Yay. I'm excited Everyone. to be here. I am excited to have you. And look at how we have all these workstation views and all this <laughs> business. I like your workstation. That looks nice. With you, right? And so, yeah, I'm out here in the, um, in the main part of bead shop here uh, where I have my little studio area. So I think it's going to be fun. Yes. So definitely. when we thought of this project, Britt, um, this is, this is a project. When did you first do this project? Oh, I think it was 2013. I have my original PDF from, and I think it was either 2000. Yeah, I think it was 2013. So it's been seven years and um, it was quite a, a journey with this with this earring because the original one that I had made was um, fabricate with it with a fabricated component that was right. too difficult to obtain and um, so I've kind of tried to figure out how to make it and over the years I've worn uh, my Bollywood earrings when I've worked or when I've been out and about and um, I wanted to create a design that wouldn't twist because sometimes you'll notice with the Bollywood earrings the right. top part kind of twists and I also wanted to incorporate something with micro macrame since that seems to be a real hot thing right now yeah and well uh, your micro macrame is everyone's favorite I love it oh oh thank you thank you it's fun it's a, it's a journey for me too you know I only learned how to micro macrame in the last two years so mm -hmm. It's just, it's amazing how much you can do. And um, with this particular earring, I love how big of a visual impact it makes. This is actually not it, but you're wearing the ones that, um, yes, these ones. Yes, I am. I am actually wearing, you can see right here, yeah. I'm wearing them and then I'll show you. You hold yours up. There you go. Yeah. Yes, these ones are with, 
Yeah, these ones are with the, without the beads um, added that I'd started just kind of playing around, but I really love the ones with the beads. And um, it's really, it's fun because it's easy, it's beginner friendly, and it makes a big visual impact without having any weight to it. I feel like they're really like, nice and light. Yeah, no, I really love them. And I think that, um, let me go back to this layout here. I think that they're really fun because they are so light. They're super like end of summer, but you made these red ones that I have, these are called, let me, let me um, look at how fancy, you're going to love this. Look, wait, how fancy. There we are. I <laughs> love it. Love it. The Taj Mahal uh, is the red colorway. And then the Sharmar that I'm wearing and you're wearing are the blue ones. Right? Yes. Yes. And I just, I think, I didn't realize that you'd only been doing this micro macrame for two years. Maybe I did. I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't, it wasn't computing, but they're so <laughs> good. And I think it's a natural um, progression from, I've got some old Bollywood earrings, but you've got some there too. I that do. You've made. Yeah. 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 They, uh, you know, they, I don't actually, I think I sent you the original originals that I made. Um, this was the very first pair oh, that I made. You know, I must, I must have those then somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're all down still there. Still marked in a box that says Brittany. I should actually get those out. But. I'll make you some new ones because um, I really like the difference. I love having the gems in there. With this one, with this updated version, I used Czech glass. Um, I wanted something that was not briolette, but like straight drilled that was still a drop and mm -hmm. that would easily take. I mean, it's just, you'll be amazed at. Um, at how how much you can do with this one design and with this one knot and there's just two techniques it's just lark's head knot that's how you get the cords on there and then you get um the horizontal double half hitch knot and that's it it's just no. three rows of that three just three just three yeah. and you know so many people on your um on the bead table the bead shop bead table the facebook group they have been really working on your uh, the different bracelets, the Zelda, the other uh, macrame bracelets, right? Oh. And Brittany, I think I've lost, can you hear me okay? Hmm. Hmm. Britt, I think we've lost your audio. So I'm going to, why don't you, I'm going to have you and then come back in the broadcast. Okay. Sorry about that, you guys. We're going to try and add Brittany back in. Britt, how's that? Hmm. Let me see. There we go. Say, uh, unmute yourself, Brittany. There, can I hear you now? No? Hmm. Anything else? No. Hmm. You can hear me. I still can't hear you. I'm going to actually remove you from the whole broadcast and I'm going to have you rejoin. Okay. Sorry about that, everybody. I'm going to remove Brittany here and here. So just bear with me here. And we'll just try it again. So bear with me. But you guys can hear me okay. Yep, give me the thumbs up if you can. 
So here comes Brittany back with us. All righty, let All right. me see. There we go. Britt, can you hear me? Hi, can you hear there me okay? You are. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Well, well if it's, maybe it's the problem is I have two cameras going. Maybe. Can you hear me? I don't think yeah. so, though. Try and add the second one. Okay. This fancy technology. It is. It's a learning curve for everybody, but it's really exciting. It is, because gosh darn it, we're going we're gonna to be able to do this. I'm going to mute that one. And I'm going to add that one to the stream. There we go. Oops, that's not the view you want. <laughs> Let's try there this we again. Go. There we go. <laughs> okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> I can hear you. You can hear me. I can hear you. You can hear me. This is fantastic. Everybody else can hear us too. <laughs> It's perfect. Great. All right. So uh, when we last left off at this project, I should get a, I should get a, you know, like a, a microphone. I have a soldering pick right here. There we go. <laughs> when we last left off at this, um, you were talking a little bit about how this earring came out of the Bollywood design, right? And so, yeah, yeah. So what came first, the Bollywood bracelet that you're so known for or this earring? The bracelet. The bracelet yeah. came out first. Um, I really was inspired. I, I, I have a few um, friends from India and friends that have visited India. And it's a place I've always wanted to go. I just feel like it's so colorful. And, you know, um, being in the bead business, I feel like India is such a source for all of the wonderful materials that we get to work with. Yeah, I really wanted to highlight uh, color, high impact um, design that was not fit too like too expensive and and to fabricate. And also, um, I wanted to create a project that was easy to travel with. And actually, Bollywood earrings is this one in particular is once you make the components or have your prefab components, it's actually really easy to take in the car with you. I took it with me last weekend when I went back to Tahoe and worked on it in the front seat of my car. And it's, it's travel <laughs> awesome. friendly. Yeah, it's really yeah. travel friendly. You yeah. can set it. You can set it up so you can take it on an airplane. You know, um, who's doing that anytime soon, right? But like, right. But when the idea is there, when you play airplane, right? Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but the Bollywood really cool. bracelet came first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it came first. And so, the Bollywood over on YouTube. If you're a new viewer to us, you guys, welcome, welcome everybody to Free Tip Friday. Free Tip Friday is usually a little more laid back and casual. So today, um, but it's great to have a guest. I love having you here. I, I feel love like being we're here. in the same room. I love it. I do. I do too. I do Technical too. Technical glitches at all. I love it. And so we've got a great picture of your workstation here that we're going to highlight in just a second. Um, and then I have a picture of what I. The, the actual earrings and stuff that I've got here. But your Bollywood bracelets that you did, um, those that YouTube video has been watched, I think it's something crazy like over a million times. It's it's epic. It is a it is a bead shop staple. So um, <laughs> Brittany was the it's one who a fun one. Yeah. She was the one who got all of this broadcasting started here for us. Oh, so it was, it's it's, it's it's fun, but you've really taken it to a new level. Well, this, my rinky dink setup back then was uh, was pretty laughable. I have a picture of how we did everything, and it was oh, I love it, I love it. Well, I feel kind of rinky dink here sometimes with all of our technical difficulties, and you can see my earbud here and stuff. But you know, who cares? You know, when we just watch macrame the news, it, right? Just I'm just going to macrame it. That's all, yeah. right? So, um, so I'm going to move over to your desk view. And let's get this show on the road, shall we? Sounds great. There we go. So there's your work area. Here's and my work take, area. Let's take a look at what Brittany's going to do, everybody. <laughs> so this, is the, this was one of the original designs. I just wanted to kind of show that for comparison. Um, obviously, I didn't make this component. This was the prefabricated component that uh, that we couldn't get anymore. And I wanted to create a component that for this earring would be easy to fabricate. That's just one piece instead of two. And here's our, our hoops. Um, 
the hoops that you carry, the round hoops. Yeah, I, use, I love those I, round hoops. I do too. I love these too. And you can actually manipulate and hammer these and they turn out really beautiful. Um, I, I take, I tend to kind of take my, my pliers, my bent nose pliers to them just to kind of tighten this loop up a little bit. Oh, that's clever. And then, okay. You're, you're so kind. <laughs> You, you and your metal smithing. I, I, this is this is about as metal smithy as I get. And that then A <laughs> is not true, but B, that's super <laughs> smart. That's super smart. And then um, I take my very well loved uh, block here, and just like kind of hammer it out. You know, this is what. That's probably extremely loud. But oh, okay. I'm gonna mute it. Uh, I'm yeah. gonna have you hammer, and I'm gonna mute you for just a second. There we go. And you can see how when Brittany's hammering, see how she keeps that edge, the loop off the side, and see how also she is striking the component in the same place so that she's not kind of wavering it all over to hit her fingers and she's keeping her fingers safely off the bench block. Great. I'm going to unmute you now, Britt. There you go. <laughs> As I explained yeah. that, right? That was no, that was that, great. Right? That was great. That's what was going through your head. That it, that was what's going through my head. Keeping your fingers out of it is good. And it, I feel like when you hammer it down, it really gives it a nice artisan feel. Yeah, it doesn't definitely. look like a it doesn't look like a prefab component. And then I even, you know, just if I'm really feeling sassy, I'll I'll go back and I'll take the the other hand uh, part of the uh, the chasing hammer and do the loop. It's just it's minor, but you can see it kind of adds a little bit of something. No, I think it's really cool. And I think that what you're showing now, you know, I've been playing around with um, kind of altering some ready-made pieces, um, just as an aside. Was that Anna? I heard Anna in the background. Yes. <laughs> and She's so, very excited. <laughs> I'm sure she is. And so uh, if you don't like metalsmith, right, if you're not like a big metalsmith or if you're, you know, but you have a hammer and bench block, try taking it to some of your ready-made pieces that you already have, right? Like yes. these hoops are a perfect way to um, experiment with that. Yeah, absolutely. And these ones as well, these long teardrop ones. I, I love could, the long teardrops. I do too. And I want to do it I, I, by, by next week's broadcast, I'll have a sample made with these because <laughs> I feel like they're kind of, they're really cool. And I like the, you know, you could just hammer the bottom right of them you know and it would be it would just have a little bit of flash and i like the way that it shows you know when you macrame over it you still get a little bit of that mm -hmm. texture from the metal underneath which is nice no, it There's looks good you can really that one i yeah. i really like them and you know these are plated these nun hoops are plated so i don't want you guys to worry about hammering on them i mean you don't want to um what do i want to say um I don't want you to like hammer like you're building a house, like I always say, right. right, with that. But the light taps on it will really um, alter the piece without taking the plating off, I guess is what I want to say. Yeah, there's, so I have not had an that. issue with that. Yeah, mm -mm. yeah. Mm -mm. It's how they've held big, up really well. Yeah, they really have. You're getting a big shout out for, I'll put this on the screen so you can see it. Uh, Mel is saying, oh. we love all of your bracelets. Thank you, Mel. So, I really appreciate all of you. Yeah. Yeah. They look, they're really great. So you have also, so you've used the prefab hoops if people don't want to make them. But exactly. You also, yeah. But you've also made some. I have. And I actually, um, I, it's so, it's, I mean, I've broken it down so it's pretty easy here, but I am going to put my little sketchbook. What? Oh, you guys, come on. This is... <laughs> This makes me want to weep. Come on <laughs> this is, I, I had some fun last night. And, oh. um, and this is just the different, you know, this is three inches. This is a very small one. We've got, uh, this is made, uh, made with a 16 gauge para wire. Okay. And um, I, this one here, the traditional one with the, the Taj Mahal is done in rose gold. Right. And I paired it with the gold fill your wires and I just love it. It's just, it, it, it's beautiful. I love it's, rose gold. Yeah. Something about rose gold. 
it's really big right now. It's really, and I feel like you can use it with both warm and cool colors. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I've also, I've also used the silver I've used, I've actually got all of them, um, because I couldn't decide which finish I wanted. And I've really liked the look yeah, of all no, of them. I like them a lot. But this, so this is the uh, traditional one that I made here. This is a, made with a five inch piece of wire and I'll show mm -hmm. you how I put that all together and everything, okay. but that kind of gives you the, um, I mean, it's a big earring, you know, it's right. It's, but it's again, definitely. Yeah. A, a showstopper as I like to say. Yes. Yes. Um, but you could, as you were illustrated there, the five, the four and the three, you could make them any size. Yes. Right. Absolutely. You would just adjust, like when we show it next Wednesday, we're going to show the macrame part. You just make the macrame part smaller or not as wide or whatever, right? Yeah, exactly. You just put fewer strands on. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I, I'm looking forward to showing how, how different they look. But see, if you want to look at the original Bollywood earring kind of next to it, you know, the four inch is really probably what will be most popular, mm -hmm. I imagine. Because Gosh, that earring is just beautiful. It's, it's fun. It's fun. And this is just the this is just the flat knot with beaded on one side. Yeah. It's, yeah. I, it's like it's Bollywood. It's the Bollywood pattern. Mm -hmm. But it's just I just uh, put beads on one side. On one side. Gosh. And can you hold it up a little bit closer to the camera yeah. right, so we can yeah. get get a little yeah there we go so you guys can see that that's their traditional macrame flat knot and so what and i see that component is a crescent it is right and so you could make that same you could make two shorter pieces mm -hmm. um like we do let me show you i've got this one right here in my view let me see if i can get it there um, this one, yeah. you can see that Brittany did it. Oh, I can pull the camera up a little bit. There we go. Look at that. Instead of having that crescent, you just made two U-shaped hooks, right? Or Right. You know, and layer, and layered them on top. And layered mm -hmm. them on top. Gosh, this is, you know, it's an aside, but since it's casual free tip Friday, right? We're, <laughs> we're visiting. That's all we're doing. Making stuff right. together, right? When, before I came back to bead shop and... I would always check in a little bit, right, um, with what was going on. I saw this earring, and I was like, this is my earring. I love it <laughs> so I love much. That. I love it so much. So, um, so Trish has a quick question, if sure. I can ask it. Trish is asking, can, have you tried this with memory wire? Or I haven't not. Do you need no. thicker wire? I memory wire I have had limited experience with only because mm -hmm. of how hard it is. Mm -hmm. um, if I wanted it to be perfectly round, yeah, I think you could make it with memory wire. My concern would be the hammering. Yeah, um, you couldn't really hammer the memory wire flat because it's that steel, annealed steel, hardened right. steel. So, right. But you could yeah. make a version of this and use that as the base if you wanted to cover it all. Um, but there's no reason not to experiment with it. I would definitely experiment with it. Um, that would be really kind of cool to do it on memory wire and then make it one consecutive earring mm -hmm. instead yeah. of having to put a, a wire on it or something. Mm -hmm. um, that would be really interesting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'd love to, you know what, Kate, I think my, my, my phone camera, I think I'm going to take that uh -huh. off and just focus on the other one. Is that okay? Sure. You my, tell me. It looks like it looks like it's it's. It went from being completely charged to almost. If, if it dies out, then okay. We'll just, we'll then just make I'll, do. I'll move you. Yeah. But I've got my but I've got my iPad plugged in. So okay, perfect. So with this, so let's get so show us then how you start. Okay, so the way we start, and I'm going to leave this up here for just a minute. Mm -hmm. I grab my grab my pair of wire. And I've drawn, you know, I've drawn lines, but you can use a ruler. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I do, I use my fingers a lot with this wire because it is so soft and I don't really want to mar it up with my tools, mm -hmm. but it's, it's going to take a little bit of practice. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, I recommend getting a spool of this thank you, so that it, um, thank you, husband, my, my tech guy came in and stayed okay, perfect. Day. What a good, right. 
We all yeah, need he's tech amazing. guy. Yeah, he <laughs> yeah, we do. We do all need a tech guy. <laughs> we all need a tech guy. <laughs> I can't tell you. <laughs> he heard me from the other room and just came in and charged my phone. That's so sweet. That's okay, so so, <laughs> so I flattened this out with my fingers. I could use a wire straightener, but my fingers work really well with this. Mm -hmm. And um, using the flush side of my flush cutters, I give it a nice flush cut. Nice. Right Beautiful. there. And then measure it up. And I'm gonna be kind of approximate here. I'm cutting this the wrong direction because I'm gonna come back mm -hmm. and give it a nice little flush cut. Nice flush cut. Now you could, do you file that at all, Britt? No, yeah, <laughs> I should, but. I'm, no, 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 the, the flush cutter I think does a great job. You could also, yeah. since I'm standing here at my, at my metal smithing desk, that's, it's dangerous because I'm all, let me show you this. You could no, also, that's great. I'm going to show you guys this real quick. I have a, just a, a you know, a nail file right here. Ooh. And the nail file, um, you could just use the nail file to um, file that in kind of flush. And you just have the end of your wire like this. And uh, you just file, 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 and you're good to go. I never thought so, about using a nail file. That's yeah. extremely practical. Yeah. And this is that, you know, that one that's like the, uh, you know, for acrylic nails or whatever. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. I get to learn new things. Right. Cause I was, well, gonna, like I said, my, my, uh, <laughs> let me hone in on your uh, demo, but no, um, I love it. But I, I love think it's it. a good tip. It is. A, yeah. That, yeah. That's a great tip. That is a wonderful tip. Um, so yeah, I'm cutting mine in five inches. And now if I was gonna cut a second piece, if you're gonna make a pair of earrings, do them at the same time, cut them at mm -hmm. the same time to make sure that they're exactly the, and form them at the same time, even though right. you won't be obviously adorning them at the same time. So then I just grab, I close my little notebook if you don't mind. Yeah, and um, Eileen, while you're doing that, Eileen is asking, is it dead soft wire? And it is. The it is the it's really super malleable and so that's why when Brittany I believe I'm jumping ahead but she's going to hammer it to uh to work harden yes um, a little later yeah so the more that you hammer it the more it work hardens um if you don't want the hammered look then definitely a harder wire would be mm -hmm. perfect for this mm -hmm. but I always like to add my little my flair to make it look more artisan yeah so next we're going to form our very first loop and we're going to just pick a side and for me you want to be able to grab you your wire in the same place both times so i kind of just you can either mark it with a, a sharpie where you grab it or just kind of eyeball it i kind of tend to go about a third in maybe a little bit further with these particular pliers because they're kind of narrow mm -hmm. but i want a loop as I'm turning, I want a loop that's big enough to accommodate an ear wire. And since there's two different ways that I've done this, I've done it this way where the wire mm -hmm. wraps underneath the loop. Right. That works well for smaller pieces. For the larger pieces, the five inch one, I actually bring my wire through that loop as well oh that's smart so it doesn't move around but it doesn't really matter you can kind of just play with it but that's my favorite look so far mm -hmm. yeah i really like it and it looks like and i'm again maybe jumping the gun you only hammered the bottom part of the loop is that right yes mm -hmm. that is correct yeah i did sorry so i, was I formed a it preview <laughs> no that's great that's great now i I'm didn't like, then I... what you did <laughs> no, that's wonderful. But I did, I, I'm going to grab a handy tool that I use to help form my wire. Sure. And while you're grabbing that tool, um, Kim asked this question here. She asked, has anyone used a cup burr? Now a cup burr, if you don't know what it is, it comes from the metal smithing world. Um, and what it is, is it's a little burr, uh, a tiny little burr that looks like a little cup hence the name cup burr. And on the inside of that cup are little files, little teeth. 
And you usually use that to rotate at the end of your wires. Like if you're using, making ear wires to go through your ears, it kind of softens it and domes it. So in this case, I think since these wires aren't going through your ears, there isn't really a need for a cut burr. If you want to file it, great. Or if you just want to cut it with a flush cutter, great too. Yeah, I really love that filing tip though that you mm -hmm. gave. I'm going to implement that into my toolbox. Into your routine. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yes. Well, I like the look of this tool you put up here. It's just the Ceylon, right? <laughs> um, and this really, you can use a wine cork. If you, I, This one I used a wine cork. I love that tool. That's my most favorite tool <laughs> in the whole world. We find a lot of them around here. I can imagine. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like to form, I like to use a circle shaped object, a uh, barrel shaped object to kind of form my loops. And this is the five inch piece. So I'm, I grabbed my largest spool of Ceylon that, um, that I have on hand. And I'm just going to hold flat my loop here mm -hmm. and form all the way around. Look at that. Okay. And then I have bent nose pliers because those are just my favorite. Yeah, me too. I'm going to grab my loop and kind of twist it. Nice. Well, I'm also simultaneously pushing with my thumb. And now this one, I can either have it wrap around the bottom. I'll probably do that way first, just because it's a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. So I grab it in the same place, about a third of the way in. And I'm just going to bend this straight back, but not close the loop entirely. Mm -hmm. So you can see that the two loops are on different planes. They're kind of perpendicular to each other. Exactly. Exactly. Now I could slide it in there like that. See how it's getting my, my loop is getting wonky. I'll show you how to fix that. Mm -hmm. Or because it's dead soft, it's going to move around a little bit at first. Mm -hmm. Or I could go underneath it. Mm -hmm. That looks nice. I like the way that looks. Mm-hmm. And um, Dolly was saying here, I'll put this up here. She also uses medicine bottles or bottles to work, works well. Oh, that's shaping good. wire as well. So look around your house and see what you might have, you know, and you can just visualize what size you kind of need. Yeah. Yeah. And until you get that loop closed. So I'm going to, I'm going to close this loop. And the way I'm going to do that is just take my flat chain nose pliers. And I carefully just close it. It doesn't close all the way. It doesn't need to. Mm -hmm. It's not going to go anywhere. So now I'm taking my fingers and kind of just pushing the wire where I want it to go. And with this particular drop, I decided to take my, I was playing around a lot and I took my flat nose or chain nose pliers or my bent nose and I kind of just flattened it. Oh yeah, between gave it the a little, jaws. Yeah, and it gave it almost a little corner there. Not a corner, but a little bit of shape. It does. It does. Mm -hmm. And it's a little bit dome shaped to begin with. And then, you know, you just kind of work with it until you get it to where you like like it. And I the reason that this dead soft is so nice is you can use your hands. You can use your pliers too, but mm -hmm. see, I'm pretty satisfied with that shape there. So what I would do is make a second loop just like it so that I have it, you know, laying around. Mm -hmm. Right. So you make, so you repeat it. So you kind of have the muscle memory, like you yeah. make one and then the other one, they'll have a better chance of matching. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Beautiful. And then, yeah. And then I'll just go ahead and hammer just like I did with the one previously. Mm -hmm. And go did ahead and hammer. To... I'll, I'll mute you just real quick and I'll talk Perfect. about the, the wire. So as Brittany's hammering, 
um, she's using, again, it's that 16 gauge um, dead soft wire. And uh, in the sample, she used the rose gold. Okay. And then uh, what she's using today is the regular silver. And you can see this wire, it has been plated. It's a heavy plate, right? Over the core, the wire core. And you can see since the plating is so heavy, I mean, Brittany is hammering those like she means it, right? Um, she's not like building a house, but she's hammering it nicely so it's nice and flat. But you can see the plating, you don't have to worry with this pair of wire about the plating coming off. And I'm going to go ahead, Britt, and unmute you. Perfect timing. Nice. Yeah. And these will look great to just wear as hoops, right? You yes, could, totally. You could just wrap some wire around them and embellish them that way with some small stones. You could Your wear brick them just stitch. as, yeah, brick stitch. You could brick stitch around them. You could just wear them as hoops, slap them on an ear wire, and you're ready for, you know, wherever you wear a hoop. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it looks great. And Thank so you. Faye is asking real quick, I'll put it up here. She's asking, um, she was late to the beginning. Can she use 18 gauge? Of course. Or do you prefer um, the 16? I, I, I went with the thickest just because I like, I love that thick look. But yeah, 18 gauge mm -hmm. would be perfect. I believe that's what I, I think I used 18 gauge in the original. Mm -hmm. in the, and, and actually the components that, uh, the, the round hoops that we have on the website, I think those are 18 gauge, mm -hmm. I want to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, absolutely. You can make them as thin as you want. Um, I wouldn't go anything less than, I wouldn't go anything less than 20 gauge. Yeah. But and that's just me. Yeah, I would agree. And people are saying, you know, well, my problem would be getting them both the same. So uh, you would use the same uh, armature, right? Mm -hmm. When you're doing yeah. this. And any I other... Any other tips for get? I mean, you're cutting the exact same length, right? Five inches. Yeah, I can make another pair. I can make a matched pair right now mm -hmm. if that's, we've got yeah. time, right? Okay, like, yeah. Uh, we got nothing how about but time. I'll, perfect. How about I'll do it from scratch and then okay. you can see okay. the difference. So this is this is the little three inch. This is what a three incher looks like. This looks is a like. five inch. I'll do a four inch this okay. time. Okay. And what Eileen is also saying, she says she just makes a bunch of them and she picks out the ones that match the best. That's great advice, yeah, I think. That is great advice because you can right. always use one as a pendant if it doesn't, mm -hmm. if you can't get it to match. Right. Exactly. And that was really clever just... in your sketchbook, I thought, when you kind of cut them, you know, you did the length and, you know, you measured. So you're actually measuring. And I think it's that measurement. Um, as long as the wire is the right length and you're using the same armature, I think you should be pretty close. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So I'm just going to flatten this out. Are mm -hmm. you hearing a bunch of noise in my background? No, you're good. Okay. All right. Husband's on toddler duty, so. Yeah, and it's all good. Don't you worry. It's very, uh, it's very sheltery and placey here <laughs> right, at, Ca totally. at Casa del Roni. Yes, yeah. it's true. <laughs> it is true. Well, you know, we're adapting. We're adapting to all of this online learning. We're adapting to all of this distancing and stuff. So, um, Absolutely. And Brit, if you would, Grace has, has a question. Um, yes. Will you, uh, after we're done and we're back up on the bead shop group, will you just take a photo of your little page from your book? And of put course. it up there, would you? And yeah. if you guys don't aren't familiar with our bead table uh, group over on Facebook, if you go to Facebook and you search the bead table, um, that's our kind of our private. Doesn't I don't want it to sound too exclusive, but because we'd love to have you, but you can join there, and that's where kind of our 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 bead shop friends uh, gather to show off their creations. So. Um, it's a fun group. It's very addictive. Yeah. And you get to see all kinds of creativity take place on there, which is what I love. Yeah. I do. So I, cut my, I cut my two pieces to the same length and made sure that mm -hmm. both of my edges were flush. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so see how Brittany is doing the exact same. She cut them both at the same time. 
And now my guess is, Britt, you're going to loop them both at the same time. Right? That's right. Mm-hmm. That's absolutely right. Because if so I you... don't like... Oh, mm-hmm. No, no, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, there we go. I was just, yeah, so I, I kind of just rotate like a rosary. It's a rosary loop. Mm-hmm. But I want to make sure that they are about the same. And mm-hmm. they are. Mm-hmm. If one was a little bit, you know, too small, I might take it in and just kind of push it down the jaw mm-hmm. a little bit. But I think those are good. Good enough for me. Yeah, they look great. Then you get your trusty Ceylon. Yes, and this is the this is the largest suit. Maybe I'll actually grab my second largest here. I love this color, by the way. I think this is tangerine. Yes, it's, tangerine. It's, oh. it's it's beautiful. I used it in the Taj Mahal. So yeah, I named it Taj gorgeous. Mahal be, because at, at different times of the day, I was looking at the Taj Mahal, and there's like a whole website that talks about all the different colors it picks up depending on what time of day it is. Oh so the one, the one that I was looking at was really reds and oranges and yellows and like golds and it was against a sunset. And then, you know, um, there was an, there was another one that made it, uh, just, it's amazing how it can change color. It's so, it's a beautiful, uh, monument for sure. It Someday is. we'll be able to travel again to it. Let's go, Britt. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's throw coffee I've, the wind. Yes. Yes. If they'll take us. Right. Yes. Yeah, let's go. I would love to um, visit India. I, yeah, me too. Yeah, it's just it's such a gorgeous place. So now I've got them both kind of formed. Yeah, and, and can you see? I mean, Brittany's hands just knew what to do because you're using the same armature, you had the same length of wire, and you had the same size loop. Super easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I'm going to pick one up and... I'm bending, I'm just rotating so that my loops are going in the upward direction. And you can see that bent chain nose really affords a lot of control um, over how you're gripping the wire and how you're moving the wire. These are my originals from when we are actually in the physical bead shop. I, in the brick and, and mortar, I had, yeah. Yeah, and I've had Lindstrom's. I've used all kinds of tools, but these zero tools, they're my favorite. They just work for yeah. my hands. The, they're, they're, like, they're the right size. size. Yeah, and I really like the handle on them, too. They're comfortable. Oh, they are. They fit. Yeah. They fit nicely. Yeah. Now, grabbing in the same kind of area, you're kind of just bending halfway. So that it's still open. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put this one inside the loop before I close it. Okay, that's wonky. That's okay. It's just wire. Just wire. You can. We're, you're going to fix it. Yeah, you can make like 20 of these with uh, with one of those packages of euro wire or a para mm-hmm. wire. Mm-hmm. See, that one's a little bit too closed for me to get it in there. So I'm just going to back it up. Okay, so they're kind of different shapes right now. You can obviously see that. Mm -hmm. But I haven't begun to shape them yet. So I'm going to just close that there. Maybe with and this then, one I should have gone underneath, but yeah. That's well, okay. that's it's, all right. yeah, it's good to show it. And then with these, um, again, today for Free Tip Friday, we're just going to show how to make the armatures. And then on Wednesday, Brittany's going to join us again for the um, macrame portion of this. That's correct. Yeah. And I'll have that set up in different stages, too, mm-hmm. so that you can see different parts of the completion. Mm-hmm. Right off the bat, because that one's going to be, you know, it takes time but mm-hmm. to complete one of these pieces, but you'll be amazed at how many ways you want to f- complete them. 
Yeah, and see how Brittany is just using her bent chain, and she's just kind of walking the jaws without a death grip, just walking the jaws along the 16-gauge wire to conform them into shape, right? Yes. Yeah, definitely. It's it's just a good it's good to practice. You know, you you'll you'll kind of get what strength you need once you mm -hmm. make a few of these. But the nice thing is, is if you mess one up, then you just have make enough wire. To, just yeah. make another one. Exactly. I I've been really appreciating some of your wire uh, wrap wrapping that you've done on your broadcasts. Oh, thanks. And, and it's really kind of inspired me to play with wire more. Well, wire is kind of, I, I feel like it's like the, the, the bridge between metalworking and beadworking, right? Yeah. Yes. Once you jump into wire, it's like, oh, what else am I going to pick up in the metals? Right. Right. So true. I've been really wanting yeah. to learn more metalsmithing. Wow. So someday, I, someday we won't social distance. Well, that's okay. Or we could just do like a, <sighs> right, we'll I, just, just, do a just been, we'll just do a Zoom. <laughs> exactly. I'm pretty sure that's how the holidays are happening this year. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that is so true. So virtual now eggnog. you're just going to, they are perfect. That was the name of my seventh grade punk rock band, virtual. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, we just did holiday shows. Uh, so now it. you're going to hammer them. Yep. Now I'm going to hammer them. So I kind of, I, I was kind of just playing with them with my hand and I know they're not symmetrical, but I don't care. I like them. I, mm -hmm. I think they're kind of, they're kind of fun. They look like, an, they remind me of onions. Yeah. They're really good. I love them. And besides, you know, once I, once I hammer them out, mm -hmm. I'll probably, you know, play with them and fuss with them a little mm -hmm. bit more. But, um, but I kind of like that shape. And mm -hmm. I feel like it, it looks kind of funky and, and cool. But if I wanted it to be a little bit more symmetrical, you know, I might bring this wire that wraps around to the bottom like I did before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but yeah, Do I, is it cool if I hammer these out? Yeah, you hammer. Hammer. Hammer okay. them out. I'll mute you right now while you're okay. hammering so it's not super loud. And then as Brittany's hammering, you can see, again, that technique of holding the loop off the side of the bench block, right? And mm -hmm. also notice how Brittany, again, she's hammering in one place and she's moving the piece around. Um, I think that helps make your blows more um, even, right? You're not like traveling that hammer all over your bench block, right? And notice how also she's not lifting her hammer that high up off the bench block either. Um, and I've unmuted you now, Britt. Um, oh, oh cool. you're going to do the other one? Okay, go ahead and do the other oh. one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> do it. Um, I'll be, mute you again. So you can, say, you can see she's not hammering it from a great height and then crashing it down on the wire, right? It's just controlled taps from kind of the right to the left or the left to the right. And she's hammering it until she likes the look, right? Um, and it just, again, it gives it kind of a hand wrought kind of a flair to it. Those look great, Brittany. Thank you. They're kind of fun. Yeah. I like them. And then, you know, you want to make sure that if you're, that they're pointing in the direction. So they're yeah, like, uh, for me, like the wires consecutive. That, right. Whereas if you turn them around, it's, it's kind of, yeah. Yeah. There's a night, there's a, a right side to this, a correct yeah. side. Yeah. But yeah, I kind of like those. Yeah. No, it's good. And, um, did you hammer both sides? You didn't, you just hammer one, right? I did. I hammered both. Um, mm -hmm. depends on how flat I want it to be. Mm -hmm. Um, the, you know, the thing is, is like, I like the dapped look, but mm -hmm. if you decided, like, say this, this is the front of your earring. If you decided mm -hmm. you wanted to hammer out and you want this all to be smooth, then this would be the surface that you would put against the dapping block. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So like, cause then it'll be bench when you tap block, it. Yeah. yeah uh -huh. Bench block. I'm sorry. Dapping block, bench block, because then um, it'll be all smooth and consecutive. Right. So there's just different little ways that you can play around with your yeah. wire and, and, uh, yeah, I, you can even, yeah, do the textured technique where you use right, the with side. Right, the, with the peen side of the ball peen hammer, yeah. Now, yeah. will you line those up um, just so, um, Linda was asking what the diameter of the earrings are. So, essentially, what you've done is you have three different sides, sizes, right? You I have uh, the three inch, the four inch, and the five inch piece of wire. Yeah, so the three inch, the three inch, it's about three quarters.
three quarters of an mm -hmm. inch, five eighths. Mm -hmm. And the four inch, about an inch and a quarter mm -hmm. ish, a little less. Right, a little less, right. The five inch is about one and a half. One now, and a half, but keep yeah. in mind, you're going to be adding, you're going to be adding um, macrame, mm -hmm. you know, to the edges. Mm -hmm. So it's going to widen it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I would say if you're going to start out, I mean, make a couple of these, but start with the five inch just because it gives you a little bit more working room. Right. It's easier when your component's a little bit bigger. Your fingers aren't as close, right? It is. I mean, you know, it doesn't really matter because once you get it all set up, you know, it's it's really just you're just adding your cords here. Mm -hmm. I'm I probably work on on these on um, on Wednesday. On Wednesday, just because okay. just to switch it up. Yeah, yeah the four inches. Yeah. That's good. Great. Yeah. Great. Well, before we bring this fabulous free tip Friday to a close, I know that people have been asking about your bracelets. So would you just put a put a stack shot in there? Yes. Oh, Look sure. That, oh, what sure. You Thank you. This was my first, um, this was the stackable ladder bracelets. This is actually, I think, the video that's one of the most popular. That was the very original sample that came with the, um, the original oh um, ladder yeah. st stack ladder bracelet. I love this combination. Yeah. And, uh, we, you know, all these are six shots. So, yeah. and with a, two, with a two millimeter leather, and then, of course, the leaf button. And then Very these, I, I found these at a um, at an estate sale, and it wasn't until I brought them home and showed them to Janice, uh, she's like, "Oh, that's ivory, <laughs> <laughs> right?" Well, um, but I, uh, I, I, I feel like I'm honoring the elephant um, yeah, by wearing to, every time yeah, I wear it. Yeah, by wearing it. Yeah. Exactly. And then these are just this is your wire wrapping. Um, I've been making these that's wire wrapped. Pretty you know, bracelets with like 20, yeah. um, I use 24 to 22 gauge if I can get it. Mm -hmm. And then my, it's great. My husband, my husband gave me that one. Yeah. That's real pretty. That's a nice Thank stack. you. It's a great stack. Thank you. Well, I'm going to put us all, all, all of us here on the screen, meaning you and me and our stuff. So Excellent. there we are. Boom. There we are. Awesome. Well, you, it was really, it was so good. I, anything else you need to add to our, to this oh. wire extravaganza? Um, I'm just really excited to launch into this, this next project. It's going to be, yeah. it's going to be I fun. I would, you know, this is the perfect opportunity to bring out all your Ceylon. It's regular Ceylon, but I've also used the original Bollywood had Chinese knotting cord and point four. Mm -hmm. Um, so you could use I, Chinese knotting cord as well. Oh yeah. yeah, you can use micro Ceylon. You can. I'm gonna see how ambitious I can be between now and Wednesday, and see and show you different. You know, like maybe the micro Ceylon or the fine Ceylon versus the yeah. Chinese knotting cord. But I wouldn't yeah. go. Um, I wouldn't go and up any like anything thicker than the point four if you're gonna use the Chinese knotting four. cord for yeah. this. Yeah. Well, the samples that you've made, it's the Taj Mahal is the red, the Sharmar is the blue, um, and. If you go to, let me get this going on here, you can find all of the info. If you go to beadshop.com, you can find all the info for the project and the products from this broadcast. This is just part one. And on Wednesday, we are going to do part two on the ninth again at 10 30 a.m pacific time so we're gonna have fun with that so Britt, thank you so much for joining me on this free tip friday i thank you for I, having me it made me want to make i've got my wire right here it makes me want to make hoops like right now instead of going back to work but um everyone i think had a great time with you um and uh lorraine says i'll show you this um, she loved it. She loved the journal examples. So thank you oh, so much cool. for sharing that. And if you would just take a little shot and add those to the, um, to the Facebook group, that would be awesome. I'd be happy to, I, I draw, mind. I draw everything out because, uh, that's, that's my original medium. So, yeah, you're so, you have, your talent is like 
the this I'm off the oh so big. thank there you there we go I just I, I love creativity I love cre- and I love hanging out with other creative people like yourself and yeah. with like this whole group you know it's it's yeah. it's inspiring yeah definitely well I'm totally inspired well Good. I will thank you and I'm going to uh uh mute you out here for just a second as I sure. uh as I close up the broadcast here, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I think I meant to do this. There we are. So whoops, I keep, I keep putting you up, Britt. <laughs> Let me try that again. It's the end of the broadcast and my, uh, there we go. And my technical skills have left me. Well, thank you so much, everybody for joining us again. It was great to have you. And We will be back on Wednesday, but remember, check your newsletter for all of the latest discounts, giveaways, and new products. Uh, If you're watching this live, it is Friday, September 4th, and we have a great um, uh, uh, promotion going on this weekend. If you have gone over to uh, beadshop.com and you have um, checked out the... um, I'm just looking at it here, so bear with me here. One second while I pull this up as I lean in. We are having our uh, Labor Day sale, which is going on right now. On the homepage, you will see that the coupon code for our Labor Day sale right now is uh, RELAX20. But if you signed up for our newsletter, our newsletter, right over at beadshop.com you got a special newsletter today and you got a code that was even better than that relax 20 it's relax 25 so that relax 25 will be good from now right now september 4th to uh through uh labor day monday september 7th at midnight pacific time Okay, so it really behooves you to sign up for those newsletters because we've got a lot of fun stuff happening this uh, this September month. So that's what I've got for you. Brittany and I will see you back for this broadcast, the second part of our broadcast on Wednesday. I'll see you then. Brittany will see you then. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Stay safe. Have a fabulous weekend. Wash your hands. Wear your masks. Stay safe, and we'll see you next week. Thanks so much, everyone.